Good morning, Sis Donna. How are you? TGIF. Happy Friday. Hey, Deanna. God bless you, TGIF. Hey, Jeanette. That's right. Good Friday morning, TGIF, y'all. We made it. Praise the Lord. Hey, Sis Crystal. God bless you. Good morning to you. It's great to see you on here this morning. Hey, Tatanisha. How are you? God bless you. It's good to see you. Yes, amen. Happy Friday. Hey, Jerisha, God bless you. It's good to see you, beloved. Happy Friday. Sister Cheryl, TGIF to you. God bless you all. You all are coming on. I'm trying to do my best to be on time and be on here at, um, at what you say is go time. I love it. Um, just try to be on here at 830, just like I say. Uh, you know, every now and again, it might be about 832, 835, but um, my commitment is to be on here from 8.30 to 9 o'clock. And sometimes, y'all know I, I go a little over, and that's cool. Um, but I just, good morning, Sabrina. God bless you. It's good to see you. Hey, Teresa, good morning, sunshine to you. And so I figure, you know, the way that I can definitely finish on time is if I start on time. Somebody say start on time. Amen. Good morning, Sister Edna. God bless you. That's right. You did make it. <laughs> Tatanisha, you made it. We made it. Amen. I know some of us felt like throwing in the towel at some different times throughout the week as the enemy whispered some things in your ear and people and, and things came against you and situations kind of blindsided you and things didn't go the way that you hoped or the, the way that you planned. But guess what? You made it. You ought to just say, Look at yourself and say, you are bad somebody. You made it. That's right, Toya. It's fry. Yay. I love it. That's right. Yes, Sister Suzette. <laughs> so I'm doing my best to be timely. But listen, y'all, I'm just saying all the fiery darts, all the plans and plots and schemes that the enemy tried to, uh, you know, to, to get you to bow out of this thing all week. I thank God that you did not relinquish. I thank God you didn't throw in the towel. I thank God you didn't wave your flag and surrender to the enemy. I thank God that you kept pressing. Somebody said, there is a blessing in my pressing. You kept pressing, and so God is blessing. Just keep holding on, beloved. Good morning, sister. Um, sister Janice, it's good to see you. Hey, Tina, God bless you. Amen, that's right. I love it. Do me a favor as you are coming on. You know, click, share, and invite others to join us this morning. I believe that you are going to enjoy and be uplifted and be encouraged. Good morning, Sister Stephanie, by all that God is going to speak to our hearts this morning. Can y'all tell that I am excited? I, I got up. I already worked out, so I... I, I pumped some, you know, some, I'm saying, I, I got some Holy Spirit adrenaline going this morning. And so I'm excited about what the word of God is going to speak to our hearts this morning and how he's going to encourage us, you know, because God's word, that's what it's there for is to, yes, yeah, to correct us. You know, there are times we receive conviction. There are times that we get reminders, but how many of you know that God wants us to be encouraged by his word? That's, that's why it tells us in Galatians 6, 9, it encourages us to not give up. It said, hey, you, I know you're going to get weary at times. I know you're going to get tired at times, but the word says, don't quit. Don't give up because if you don't quit, somebody say, if I don't quit, if I don't quit, I will see the harvest. I will see see the breakthrough. I will see the provision that I have been praying for, laboring for, believing for. Amen. Anybody you want to see that harvest? I know I want to see it, man. After all that, all those tears and, and all that praying and, and all that fasting and yeah, heck yeah. After doing all of that, I don't want to miss my breakthrough. I, I don't want to, you know, that's, that's like, that's like being in, uh, in Vegas and, and standing at the slot machine and putting your your money in and and then walking away just before you hit and and missing out. Yeah, we we can't we can't walk away. We got to keep going. We got to keep cuz it's going it's going to hit. It's the the God's promise is better than any slot machine. Some of y'all y'all know y'all had to say who you are, but you know you be you playing the lotto. You you scratching them tickets.
is you, you believe in that one day is going to hit. And so can nobody tell you don't stop and get that ticket on a Thursday afternoon or whatever? Because in your mind, you believe if you keep playing, one day you're going to hit. So this is the same thing I'm saying to you, that one day, if you continue to keep pressing, good morning, Sister Clarice. If you continue to keep moving forward, if you continue praying, you continue to keep worshiping, you continue, it's gonna hit. Somebody say it's gonna hit. You you go, it's it's gonna hit your your breakthrough, your blessing. Yeah, you um I help me, Holy Ghost. Can y'all? I'm just I'm just excited because I'm just encouraging you. You keep going, don't stop. Some days I'm running, <clears throat> I'm running my race, and I'm I'm pumped and I'm doing my thing. Uh, some other days I'm kind of looking and hoping that somebody will kind of grab my hand and kind of pull me because I'm starting to slow down and and then there are other days that I'm 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 dragging y'all I'm I'm on all fours you understand what I'm saying I I'm not moving as quick I'm I'm not but guess what the whole thing is to keep moving good morning sister Sally keep moving somebody say keep moving that's the whole thing you got to keep moving you got to keep pressing you got to keep praying you got to keep believing you got to keep expecting it's going to hit. Amen. So I just, I, I thank God, you know, I, I was talking to a precious sister of mine yesterday and, and, you know, I'm a firm believer that there's always the breakdown before the breakthrough. You understand? Before we get the breakthrough, there's some things that God's just got to break down. Somebody say, God, sometimes God's just got to break us down. He's got, he's got to break us down to remove our pride and to remove our self-sufficiency, to remove our false idols, our false gods, to remove uh, the things that, that, that we put too much, uh, you know, we, we put stock in some things more than we do in God. We, we get cues about our identity and our self-worth and some, from some things. And sometimes God's got to break all that stuff down. You understand what I'm saying sometimes he's got to break some things apart but can i tell you that right before the breakthrough is the breakdown and he's breaking you down to build you back up so all i'm saying is if you feel that you're in a place right now of being broken down it's not a bad thing it's a good thing let god have his way let him do what he need to do in jesus name right all right so that's listen let's jump into the word of god because i'm i'm all pumped up and hyped up don't forget to click share, invite somebody, or tag somebody. Put you know, tag them, put their name in the chat and tell them, hey, come check this out because it's about to be on and popping up in this place. We're about to get into the word of God. I like when the word of God is, is relevant. I like when it's powerful. I like when it speaks. I like when it meets me right where I'm at. So let's say that to, to the Lord today. Father God, meet me where I am. Meet me right where I'm at. Some of you just, just need that. You know, some of us are, are like right there. And, and what we're believing for is just on the other side. Uh, uh, and all we just need is just a little push. And my prayer today is that the word of God will just give you that little push. That little, that little nudge. You understand what I'm saying? That just, just that little thing to help you get over. Right? Because that, that's, that's what some of us need sometimes. It's just a, something to just give us a little nudge to get us over. So may the word of God this morning give you the nudge that you've been needing to get over in Jesus name. Father God, have your way on this live today. Holy Spirit, speak like never before. Let me decrease so that you will increase, so that you will come forward because you know the needs, you know the desires, you know the hearts of every person on this live. Speak, Holy Spirit, speak. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we are going to be, y'all, in 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 10 through 14. 2 Kings 5, 10 through 14 in the New Living Translation. Some of you may be familiar with this scripture. It's one of my most famous favorite scriptures actually and you may have heard me you know minister on it before but sometimes I like revisiting you know previous scriptures that I've talked about because God kind of shows me things in a new way and in a fresh way and he showed me something today and I said okay God I'm gonna go with this thing and so we're in 2 Kings chapter 5 verses 10 through 14 in the New Living Translation Hear the word of God. This is so powerful. 
it says, but Elisha sent a messenger out to him with this message. Go and wash yourself seven times. Somebody say seven times. Thank you for putting it up for me, Sister Edna. Go and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River. Then your skin will be restored and you will be healed of your leprosy. Verse 11, but Naaman, Naaman became angry and stalked away. He said, I thought he would have certainly come out to meet me. I'm going to explain that to you in a second. I, I thought he was going to come out to meet me. I, I expected him to wave his hand over the leprosy and call on the name of God. <laughs> call on the name of the Lord and God would heal me. He said, aren't the rivers of Damascus and Abana and, and Farpar, aren't they better than this river that he's telling me to dip in? Why, why shouldn't I wash in them and be healed? So Naaman turned away and he went away in a rage. Somebody said he went away angry, y'all. He went away upset. He went away disappointed. That's how some of us leave the church, but that's for another message. Verse 13, but his officers tried to reason with him and said, sir, if the prophet had told you to do something very difficult, in other words, man, what's he, what he's asking you to do is not difficult. You may not like it, but it's not difficult. Help me, Holy Ghost. He said, if they would, if the officer, if, he, if he'd have told you to do something very difficult, wouldn't you, would you have done it? Like, how bad do you want this thing, right? He says, go and wash and be cured. You should certainly obey what he says. So Naaman, verse 14, went down to the Jordan River and dipped himself seven times. Seven times as the man of God instructed. And his skin became as healthy, y'all, as the skin of a young child. And he was healed. <laughs> man, I love this, right? Bottom line is Naaman was a great commander in the army and he had leprosy. And even though he had leprosy, God was still using him powerfully. But how many of you know that even as powerfully as God is using us, there's always something that he wants to heal us, something, he, yo, God is always looking to take us to the next level. Somebody say next level, right? And before he can take us to the next level, sometimes there are some things that, that, that even though we may have gotten used to living with it, Oh, help me, Holy Ghost, you're speaking. That even though we may have just felt like, oh, this is all I'll be, I'll have this, I'll live with this for the rest of my life. God said, no, I, I'm, I'm ready to take you to another level. But before I do that, I got to deal with this thing. Somebody say this thing. And, and all of us have a this thing that there are times that God is ready to elevate us to another level, but he's got to deal with this thing. And so this thing that he had to deal with with Naaman, even though he was already using him powerfully, he wanted to use him even more powerfully. He wanted to use Naaman in a way that he would be glorified. And, and so God sent a message to him through a servant girl to say that there is a man that will be able to, to, to heal you if you go see him. And so what Naaman did was he packed up everything and he went to see the man of God. That's Elisha, the prophet. And when he got there, y'all, Elisha didn't come out and speak to him personally. He sent his servant out. And see, that's the thing. Sometimes we, <laughs> sometimes we reject what uh what god is is saying because we don't like the person is coming through but that's for another sermon but i'm saying that you know naaman thought he was so important that elisha would come out and speak to him personally but elisha sent a servant to speak to him see all here right now god is already starting to deal with naaman and his pride see sometimes we don't realize we can become very prideful we become so prideful that we think that it's, it's, it's our way and 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 even think so that the way that god needs to do do it is the way that we want it to be done. And so the the the, the servant came out and he said, Listen, I, I need you to go on over there and, and 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 I need you to dip in the Jordan River. Dip in the Jordan River seven times. That's what he said, seven times. Go dip in that Jordan River for seven times, and you are going to be healed. And so the Bible tells us that uh Naaman he, he left feeling some type of way. Come on, y'all know what it's like to feel some type of way. 
you know, somebody say something to us that we weren't expecting or we didn't like. It didn't quite come the way we thought. Help, help me, Holy Ghost. And so he left there feeling some type of way. And so his servant, Naaman's servant, says to me, he said, well, hold up. He said, um... You know, I understand if he would have told you to to do some something hard, you know. But but this right here is easy. Why why are you making something easy so hard? See, sometimes we do that. You know, God to tell instruct us to do something, and if we just follow what He tells us to do, is easy. But we start to think about it, we start to analyze it, we start sharing it with folks, we start doing stuff, and now it starts to become difficult, or now it starts to rub against who we who you know. You understand and so this is what was happening it wasn't anything difficult but here's what Naaman said this is this is what was powerful about it Naaman said well you know I, I'm upset because first of all he he didn't he didn't do the healing the way I thought <laughs> oh man some of us get upset with God because he didn't do what we want the way we thought he should and so Naaman showed up because understand y'all, you know, he was, he was this great commander, you know, and sometimes we, we, we can become great in our own eyes. Well, I, 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 I love, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I serve, you know, every Sunday I'm a, I'm a usher, I, I'm on the worship team, I'm a deaconess, you know, I'm the, I'm the prophetess and the prophet to the third degree. And we get all this stuff right here and we, we, we puff ourselves up in such a way that we feel that the way that God is going to do some things in our lives is going to look different from how he's doing it in other people's lives. Because after all, I'm so holy and I'm so saved and I serve God and I minister and come on somebody I'm, tr I'm trying to help somebody today and so because of where he put himself in his own mind he showed up thinking that God was going to do it in a way so he said I thought I thought he was going to come out and 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 I, and I thought he was going to wave his hand and oh and and you know how we do how when we show we, we, we go and we look for people to pray over us and <laughs> And we it, sometimes it can become a show. Oh, look! Look at how important I am. That the you know, like I'm just saying, y'all. Listen, I'm just gonna keep it just where the Holy Spirit is telling me. You know, because sometimes we can go to these conferences and and go to these events and stuff. And the man of God, the great prophet, is in town, and 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 he's laying hands on folk, and and so we get in the line, and 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 then you know he says something over us, and we start thinking we so great in our own eyes and stuff. So he thought he was great in his own eyes to the point that he wanted it to be a show he said i thought he was gonna come out and wave his hand in other words he had a way he thought god was gonna do it and the way he thought was go god was gonna do it was feeding his ego was feeding his pride but see god has a way y'all god has a way Woo! god has a way of sitting some of us down of bringing us down to come on you know when, when we think too much of ourselves god has a way and so what god did was God, he sent out the, 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 you know, the servant. He didn't really like that. But then on top of that, he told him to dip in the dirtiest river. In other words, there were other rivers that somebody of his stature, that somebody of his, his, uh, he, he's had, he had a lot of, uh, power. Uh, he had a lot of victories that somebody of, of, of his stature would go dip in. Like, in other words, yeah, I don't need to do what all the other people are doing. Yeah. See, oh yeah. She was in the club last night and she be in the club every Saturday night and the way that God want to deal with me ain't the way that he dealing with her because she's you know she is sinner she ain't really living right but see I'm living right you know I'm 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 serving and I'm ministering and I'm ushering and I'm smiling and so yeah surely the way that God want to do it with me ain't the same way he want to do it with her she on she on drugs and and she drinking I'm trying to help somebody today so 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 he thought that that God was going to <clears throat> heal him in a way that would make it a show and make it grand and, and for that reason he almost missed his blessing 
He almost missed it because he tried to put God in a box according to what he wanted to see God do. He tried to put God in a box according to the way he wanted God. See, that's the thing. Some of us right now, we waiting on God to do a thing. But listen, God is ready to do it, but he's waiting for us to humble ourselves. God is ready to do it, but he's waiting for us to get to the place that we're willing to be obedient no matter how it makes us look. No matter how it makes us look. Oh, but God, I, I want to do it that way. But if I do it that way, everybody going to think I'm crazy. Oh, God, it, 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 I want to do it the way you told me. But if I do it that way, people going to walk away. People ain't going to like me. People going to talk about me. See, see, this is where some of us get stuck. <clears throat> And let me tell you something. You need to understand that when God, when God is ready to get the glory, he, he going to do it the way that he gets the glory. Not that we get the glory. Not that we get the recognition. Not that people talk, oh, look at how awesome Anne is. You know, God healed her. And she, look at how powerful she is. She's such a great speaker. And oh, she can speak in tongues. Oh, she lay hands and, and she pay on people and healed in Jesus' name. See, see, that's what some of us get caught up in is we want people to be looking at us but God said no I'm going to do this in a way that they ain't paying you no attention they going to see what I'm doing so that I get the glory so that oh help me Holy Ghost so I'm saying some of us right now we sitting on some things that God is asking us to do but because we are too worried about how it's going to look we too worried about how other people are going to feel about it we too worried about the stuff we may have to let go we too worried about that stuff. So we about to miss God. And see, what God had to do was he had to bring him down off of his high horse. He got to, he had to bring for some of us, you may not be prideful, but woo, you, you strong. You a self-sufficient person. You don't need nobody. I can do it all by myself. How many of you know that sometimes I remember I was like that many years ago. And I just, I, I hated to ask for help. I didn't need no help. I wanted to do for everybody. Can nobody do for me? Me and my sister was talking about this yesterday. Um, my sister and the Lord. And we, and, and, and this is where I was. And guess what? I got sick. I got sick. I had a, a and, and, and I was laid out. And guess what? I had to get to the place where I could receive the help. I had to humble myself. I had to say, yeah, I need help. Some of you right now, you need to, yeah, I need prayer. Yeah, I, I need somebody to agree with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a place that I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, see, see, you understand what I'm saying? You, 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 you may not be, uh, <laughs> You may not be prideful in the sense of, of, of naming where he thought he was all of that. But, yes, yeah, some of us can think we all of that because we, we, we're we there for everybody and can, don't need nobody to be there for us. And so what you do is literally you suffer in silence. You, 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 you're you having a breakdown in your home and don't nobody know because you you you, 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 you come on out and, and, and you look a certain way. You look all put together. You look all strong. You look all this stuff right here. And God in his goodness and his mercy will have to teach us that we are in community and <clears throat> God in his goodness and his mercy will show us that we do need people it's not just us four and no more it ain't just me myself and I God God will God will cause and allow these things to happen so that we can humble ourselves and realize listen there are times we need to be in the in the place of receiving there are times we just gotta humble ourselves so check this out y'all so you know his 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 thank God for his servant thank God for his, the, the people God placed around us, right? Because his servant could have looked at old boy and said, man, look at him. I can't believe he tripping, but all right, he about to miss his blessing. That's on him right there. You know what I'm saying? But his servant was like, listen, you know, listen, my master, you know, listen, I, I, I understand this might not be the cleanest river. I understand that you may have to kind of, you know, put your pride down a little bit. I understand that you, you you know, this is this is different for you. This is out the box. Come on, somebody say out the box. Yeah, I understand that, you 
you know, that, 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 uh, that I understand that this, this gonna make you feel different and, uh, you know, out, out of control and, and it's gonna, all the things that we like to do is gonna make you uncomfortable. That's the word I'm looking for. I understand this is gonna make you uncomfortable. This is what the service said. Come on. I'm looking at some of you. I understand that what God is asking you to do is gonna make you uncomfortable. Can I tell you though, but that's the very place God wants you. He wants you to be so uncomfortable in, in, in relying upon yourself that we become comfortable relying on him and him alone and so so the service said listen i understand this thing is you know it's different for you this is not how you're used to it come on somebody said this is not what i'm used to this is not what i'm used to and so he said this is i know this is not what you're used to but listen he's not asking you to do anything difficult and the question is how bad do you want it See, that's what I'm asking you this morning. You looking for God to do something. You looking for God to show up. You looking for God to show out. My question is, how bad do you want it? What are you willing to do according to what God is saying in order to get what he told you is yours? So he said, I understand how you feel, bro. But listen, just, just, just do the thing. And so, so he gets in there, y'all. And this is why I said... The, this is why I titled this thing, Dip, Baby, Dip. I need somebody to just put that up there for me today. Dip, Baby, Dip. See, here's the deal. He was told that he needed to dip in this nasty river, the nastiest of all the rivers. I just love how God does things. I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of my blessings have come from the most unexpected places, from the most unexpected people. You understand? Some of my blessings have come in places I would never have imagined. I would never have gone. I would never have connected with this individual had it been up to me. But he got in that nasty river, y'all, and he did what the man of God said. Now, check it. He said he had to dip how many times? Seven times. Dip, baby, dip. See, I can only imagine, y'all, understand. See, each time that Naaman was dipping, God was washing something else off of him. Oh, my God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I just got that revelation that ev with every dip. See, Naaman may not have realized all the things that needed to come up off him. A lot of times, we don't realize just how deep that hurt goes. We don't realize just how, how, how painful that offense really was. We don't understand how that rejection really got to the core of who we are. We don't understand how that abandonment affected our self-worth. and our We don't understand, but God knows how, how deep it goes. And God knows how many times we have to dip. God knows how many times we got to go under and come back up again. And so what he said was seven times. And so I can imagine that Naaman went in there. Remember, this is still the man that cares about what other people think. I can imagine that he goes in there, y'all, and he dips. He heard seven. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We hear what God say, but sometimes we hear what God say, we still try to do it our way. And so I can imagine he heard seven, but I can imagine in his mind, he was like, yeah, maybe I can just do it one or two times, and that should be okay. That's how we do God sometimes. Well, God, yeah, I know you told me to go all the way, but maybe if I just do a little bit of this, you'll bless my little bit. How are you going to ask God to bless your little bit, but you want a lot blessing? How are we going to, you understand, are you hearing what I'm saying? God, I want you to bless me a lot, but I'm going to give you a little bit. No, it don't work like that. So I can imagine Naaman before going down, he starts to rationalize in his own mind. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take all of that. That's what some of us say. Yeah, I don't know if it'll take all of that. Listen, if God says it's going to take all of that, he is going to take all of that. So he goes in and I can imagine that he dips one time and he comes up and nothing. He still look the same way. See, that's what some of y'all are doing right now. You are dipping. You are believing God. You are trusting God. You are praying. You are fasting. You're giving up some things and yet you still don't see the healing and yet you still don't see the breakthrough. But I come to tell you this morning, dip, baby dip. I'm just saying, so he dips on the first time and he comes up in nothing. He, he goes back down this nasty, nasty, nasty river and he goes back down and he comes back up the second time. He looks around nothing. Now remember he got folk watching him. See, sometimes we stop dipping because of who's watching. I'm going to come to somebody's block today because you, you, you've been trusting. You've been doing what God has told you to do, but you got folk watching. And because it don't look like what you profess, it don't look like what 
you said it's going to look like. And people are like, oh, yeah, I don't think she heard from God. Oh, yeah, I don't think God is in this. Oh, yeah, I don't think this is of God. Because they're saying this kind of stuff, you start, you start second guessing if you should keep dipping. So I can imagine by dip number three, dip number four, he coming up out of that water and he looking around. And I'm sure his servants are all standing around like, hmm, yeah, I thought by dip three or four, I see some evidence, you know, that there would be some healing. You know, maybe the skin will start just, you know, it, it, they was looking for evidence and dip number four and dip number five. And guess what? <laughs> there was no evidence. He was still going down a leper and he was coming back up a leper. I'm, I pray this is ministering to somebody this morning because I'm here to tell you dip, baby dip. Because I'm trying to tell y'all something on the seventh dip. Somebody say the seventh time he did exactly what he was told to do so on the seventh time he came up and he was healed but see some of some of us we quit dipping we stop dipping because we don't see the results in the time frame that we want. We stop dipping because we start letting people talk into our circumstance. Well, yeah, you've been at this for two years, and I don't think that's God. Oh, but you've been struggling so much. Yeah, that can't be God. God wouldn't have you to be struggling like that. Oh, you you keep going around the same mountain, the same old thing, the same old. Yeah, I don't believe that this is the will of God for you. I'm trying to talk to somebody today because somebody been talking in your ear and somebody's got you second guessing what God has told you to do but dip baby dip and so dip number six y'all he comes up and this man looked the same way he looks the same can y'all imagine what would have happened if after the sixth time he's okay I'm, I'm done Whew. I've been at this thing for a minute yeah, I trust God, but it just don't look like God's going to do that for me. I mean, I know God can heal, but obviously healing is not my portion. Yeah, I mean, I, I know God can. I've seen God bless that other person with new transportation, but yeah, maybe that's just not for me. Uh, yeah, well, I see what God is doing over there with the neighbors, but yeah, I mean, I've been trying for so long. I guess it just is not, that's not, not for me. It's not my time. It may never be my time. See, this, this is how we start to get when stuff don't look the way we thought within the, <clears throat> within the time frame that we put God on. Don't be putting God on no calendar. Don't put God on no clock. Don't, 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 you understand? God, God is God. He is sovereign. And we got to trust that when he say what he is going to do, what he says says he's going to do, how he's going to do it, when he's going to do it. If he would have quit on dip number six, he would have missed it. I want to talk to some of you right now with all the love I have in my heart. You've been dipping. I get it. You're tired. You've been, you've been believing God. You've been trusting God. You've been believing for it. And guess what? As you look around and as you assess your situation in the natural, somebody say in the natural, because that's the thing. If, if he was to get caught up on what it looked like in the natural, he would have missed it. And in the natural, some of you are getting caught up. You're getting stuck. You're getting ready to quit. You're getting ready to throw in the towel. You're getting ready to give up. You're getting ready to stop. You are, you are about to give up because because in the natural, you've been dipping, but you haven't seen anything. Can I tell you what God is about to do is supernatural. Somebody say supernatural. So you cannot gauge what's happening in the supernatural through your natural eyes. And I thank God that Naaman did not, did not, did not discount God's supernatural power because of what he was looking at in the natural. And some of you right now, you are assessing God's power in the natural. And God is saying, listen, I don't need you to assess me. I don't need you to ask analyze me. I need you to believe me. God is saying, I need you to trust me. I need you to keep dipping. I know I, I know that you've been dipping for a minute. I know it don't seem like anything is happening, but you got to trust that God is working behind the scenes that every time you dip, something else is dropping off of you that needs to drop off. Help me, Holy Ghost. Baby, if you still dipping, God is still working. As long as you are still required to dip, that means God is still doing a work. So I understand you're tired. I understand. Hold on, Sister Suzette. Come on, hold on, Daniela. Come on, hold on. God is at work. Don't quit because you don't see it with your natural eyes. God is at work. 
And you got to keep trusting. You got to keep pressing. You got to keep believing. You got to keep dipping. Put your pride aside. Put your, your, <clears throat> your un, you know, put your, your, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Put your timelines aside. You know, uh, put your desires aside. Come on, put 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 aside what you want to see happen the way you want, the way you thought, the way that. Put all that aside and say, God, not why my will, but your will be done. That if I need to keep dipping, if I need to keep trusting, that I heard Sister Ann say today, dip, baby, dip. And so I came on this, <clears throat> I came on this live this morning. And, and this is somebody I'm talking to, you, you came on this live this morning and you were ready to stop dipping. Dip, baby, dip. Dip, baby, dip. Father God, I just thank you for what you're doing through this word. I thank you for those who may have come on that they may have been ready to give up. They may have been ready to shut up. They, they may have been ready to, to let go. They may have been ready to, Father God, I thank you for your staying power. I thank you, Father God, that you give us the Holy Spirit to give us everything we need if we will trust you and rely upon his power and stop trying to do things in our own power. We thank you today, God, for this example in the, in your word that shows us of a man that had to lay down everything. He had to lay down his own pride. He had to lay down his, his own idea of how things was going to be done. He had to lay down what people thought, what people said. He had to lay it all down and just let you be God. Father God, help us all to let just let you be God in our lives and help us to trust you, God. We may not understand the route that you're taking, we, but I am confident, God, that if you have us still in the dipping process, then there's still more that you are removing from us. There's still more that you are healing. But I thank you, God, that at the appointed time, at the appointed time, we will see the healing. We will see the provision. We will see the solution. We will see the breakthrough. We will see the blessing. We will see the salvation. We will see what we've been praying for. Father God, remind us over the next number of hours and days and weeks to keep dipping. Dip, baby, dip. And thank you, Father God, that we're never dipping alone. Thank you for sticking closer to us than a brother. We love you today, God. I speak your blessings over every person under the sound of my voice. May they continue to trust you, believe in you, expect from you. And may they tap into the power of the Holy Spirit that is available to help us to keep pressing. Thank you, God, that there is a blessing in our pressing. And we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Bless every brother and sister under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. God is good, y'all. He is great and greatly to be praised. I just want to thank you all for always just allowing me to speak. You know, I, I know some of y'all know I just, I do it passionately, right? But I, I don't know any other way. We serve a God. Jesus was passionate, y'all. When he went to the cross, he did it with passion. He went and he desired for God's will to be done. That's the passion I have. I want to see the will of God done in your life and in my life. So thank you all. Don't forget to click share. Um, invite others to watch this. I look forward to being with you again. Uh, first thing Monday morning, God willing. Uh, he is an awesome God, Sister Vaughn. And I pray this message bless your socks off. I pray that it lit a fire up under you. I pray that it encouraged you to just keep going, keep going. If nobody else is cheering you on, know that I am cheering you on today. That I am the God sent cheerleader to tell you, keep pressing. There is a blessing in your pressing. I love you all. Have an amazing weekend, and I look forward to being with you on Monday.